Hi, this is Brenda Meller with Meller Marketing. Today I'd like to share with you a tip on how to post a blog on LinkedIn. So I got asked this question from someone in my network and I thought it might be helpful to walk you through step by step how you do this process. So what I'm going to do here to start a blog is if I'm on LinkedIn, uh, let's say I'm, I'm happen to be on my profile, the first thing you want to do is navigate back to your page and you do that rather navigate back to the home page and you do that by clicking on either the in symbol here in the upper left corner or the home symbol. Either one of those will take you back to the home page. Now at the top you're going to see this box that says start a post and a couple symbols off to the side here. Underneath you'll see this link that says write an article on LinkedIn. Now when you blog on LinkedIn this is the link that you want to click. So you can't do this on your phone, you can only do this in the desktop version. So go ahead and click on write an article and now we are within the LinkedIn publishing uh, platform and you see here it says publishing menu at the top and here is where I would create a blog. So let's say for example I have something written and it's in a separate document or in a different location but I want to publish it within LinkedIn. So I'm going to use this example here. I have a, 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 some old blogs on a platform called Blogspot that I want to move over. And I, uh, I had a couple of, of books that I wanted to capture and I created a reading list in here. So let's say for example I wanted to move this over to LinkedIn. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to copy the title. I'm going to click on copy. I highlight it and then I copy it. And then I go back over to LinkedIn and I'm going to play, uh, paste that as plain text in there. And then I would do the same thing for the body copy and I'm just going to highlight this entire section, copy it, go back over to LinkedIn and where it says right here add images or a video for a visual impact, that's where I would click and then I'm going to right click and choose paste as plain text. The reason I do that is because if I copy and just pasted it, it's going to copy capture some of the formatting but it's not going to look clean and neat so I just want to paste it as plain text. And now you can see here that LinkedIn has added in some additional line breaks where I don't want them and when I scroll down it's also dropped off the um, numeric list. So now what I'd like to do is I'm going to highlight the items that I want in my list and going into their menu I can see there's an option for numbers and for bullets. Now I'm going to choose numbers here and uh, now I'm just going to kind of look through here to see if there's any other changes. I can see I have a typo here so I'm going to correct that typo here and there may be some additional links that I'd like to add in here. So I'm going to scroll down the page here and you notice when I click after the number three it adds a number four. If I click again the four goes away. So I'm just kind of looking through to see if there's any additional formatting changes I make. And um, in here, this blog was written a few years ago, so now Don is my former colleague, and maybe I want to highlight his name and bold it. If I know that he is on LinkedIn, I might go back to his profile here, and I can grab his LinkedIn URL from the menu bar here. Going back into my blog, now I can add in a hyperlink, and I do that by highlighting the text that I want to add the link on, clicking on the link icon here, and then simply pasting the URL in there. Now I can see that that is clickable. So there may be other things I'd like to do with this blog. Certainly adding a header image here in on the top. If I had a picture that went along with it, now I can see in the case of this blog there wasn't any any photo that I used. But perhaps, you know, I might want to click here to show um, the book jacket, for example or there may be other items in here, you know, maybe I want to grab a screen capture of, of all three of these items and create a header image out of it. At any rate, when I've figured out what it is that I want to post in the image in here, I would click on that plus symbol and I'm just going to do this for example purposes here. I'm going to grab that image wherever it's saved and then I would add it into the header area. Now you'll see here that when you add in a header image it automatically goes into the default the first layout. I like to put it into that second layout because that makes sure that um, I can kind of control what is viewable in the area and I know that the middle third is really what's going to be viewable when I publish this blog. So that's how I would add a header image on the top. You can see as you scroll through the blog LinkedIn gives you this little box with a plus next to it. And I can see here if I click on that, the same thing applies. I can 
upload additional images in here, and I'm just going to use the same image to show this example here. And when I hover over, I can see that LinkedIn has put it in the default, which is you know, spreading it out within the blog. I could choose to right, uh, rather to left align that. I can make it smaller in the middle. I can do a full screen, or I can do a right align. So it gives me a couple of different options there. And you know, if I wanted to add in, let's say, a YouTube video. So let me go to my YouTube channel here. I'm just gonna pop the address in on here. And just hey for there, example purposes, run. maybe I want to grab a, a recent um, video company. that I published. So let me maybe grab this video right here. Hey there. And click on pause. And once I have the link, um, what I could do is go back into LinkedIn and same symbol, that square with a plus, click on there. And you can see here it gives me options for image, video, slides, links, or snippet. Um, I could just paste this YouTube link here. And then once I click on enter, it's going to take a second and it's going to populate that link in, um, in, in the space here. And you can see it hey takes there. me right to that video over there. So that's the process. It's a bit manual going through, checking for formatting, making sure links are highlighted. If there's any text that I wanted to um, highlight, I might pull it out in, in the form of a pull quote. So let's say, for example, here's the text here I wanted to, to highlight. Um, I would highlight that with my mouse and then click on at the top. You're going to see this little quote symbol. When I do that, you can see it, pull it pulls it out into like a pull quote to give it some visual interest. So um, the great thing here is in LinkedIn Publishing, it does save your work as you go. And now this kind of sits as a draft. If I'm ready to publish, then I would click on that publish button and then maybe add a one line description of what the blog is all about. And then I would click on publish. However, if I'm not ready, I'm going to click on X, and this is just a draft. So I can see here, if I go into the publishing menu, when I click on that drop down, one of the options is My Drafts. So now I can go back to see previous draft blogs that I've created, and if there were any of these that I wanted to publish, then I could simply uh, click on the title, go back to that draft of that blog, and then make any additional changes before I decided I wanted to, to publish that out. So um, just kind of navigating in and out of here to see you know the different drafts that I have in here. So that's it. So there's your publishing menu. And again, to get back there, I'm, I'm, those are drafts, so I know they're saved. I don't need to do anything. To get back to that publishing menu, you simply have to be on your LinkedIn homepage, click on Write an Article, and then to get back to the drafts, you just simply go under the publishing menu, my drafts, and then you can um, pull up any previously created drafts and continue to work on them. So that's the process of how to create a blog on LinkedIn. I do have some additional blogs on blog content and suggestions that uh, I'll share with you in the comments here. But hopefully that helps you out. If you've enjoyed watching this video, I would encourage you to like and or subscribe depending on the network that you're following this on. And please share this video with others who might be looking at the blogging platform on LinkedIn as well. This has been Brenda Meller with Meller Marketing. I hope this tip has been helpful for you and hope you have a wonderful day.